Affinity Photo can create all kinds of beautiful designs very quickly. The great thing about Affinity Photo is you can combine multiple layers, masks in countless combinations. Just going to show you how, just using the basic star shape. So let's just remove that. Just go over here and you can find all these other tools, but the star tool, go with that. And currently it's filled with this fill. Now you can change the fill for that star design just by simply clicking here, going to the swatches. You've got swatches, you've also got grading and colors. It could be red, green, blue, etc. as well. So with that, let's just create it. And there's the basic design. You can go to the gradient tool. The gradient tool, that's what you've got there. To manipulate the gradient, use the gradient tool. You see at the moment it's going from cross left to right, or you can go up and down, something like that. And you can create all kinds of colorful designs. And the area I want to use is this part. Don't want the bottom part. So the next thing to do is I'm gonna mask it. Mask's great for just cutting things away. So just go here and with that mask layer, add to mask layer. With that selected, you can now make certain the mask is selected there. There it is, selected there. Go to the grain tool and apply. Now the default will be this one, white to black. And you can manipulate it. And you can resize it and simply drag up and down. Now I don't want something like that. Just leave it a bit of this design here. But I still want the strong, sharp point at the top. So with this, I can then manipulate this further. So select the star. And I can now duplicate this. Now you could do it manually. Just go through layer and duplicate. But what you can do, you can just press return or enter. As long as you've got the move tool selected. Move tool selected, press return or enter on the keyboard. And with that, you can see you've got these options here for scale, rotation, etc. Also you can duplicate. So you can just add a few copies. Now you can see what happens. It just makes this makes it slightly stronger. And you've got this line here. But what I also want to do is go vertical. So just increase that. And you can see as you do that, make multiple copies. Now I might not go for that many copies. Maybe say three or four, six and 48. And now you've got that colorful design there. And you can see the additional lines there. Now what you can change this course in countless ways. But what you do, click OK. And all it does is create layers. So you've got your stars there. And you've got your star down there. Now you could, of course, like I say, use any other shape. You could use a circular design, triangles, all kinds of different designs. But I wanted to go for the star because the star's got some of the more sort of loads of additional features. So with this, I can now duplicate it again. So make sure so you select it all. And then again goes the move tool, press return or enter. And then you can go over here and duplicate again. Now you can change the rotation. I'm going to go for, you know, you could go for anything. So you go for 90 initially, rotation 90. You can see it just rotates there. It's only got one copy so far, so let's just put it there. Duplicate. So if I increase that to three, so you can see it now goes all the way around. Now what you can do, you can turn this on. Make certain you put this on, because then you get this, this central point. And the great thing about that is you can move this around, reposition it, create all kinds of different designs very quickly. You might want to design like that. Just maybe move it over there, maybe move it over there, just to get exactly the design that you want. So I just want to push that just slightly a bit for there, something like that. But I don't want 90, I could go for 30. You can see obviously then you only just go around obviously a single quadrant, but you can then increase the number of copies. And as you do that, you can see now you go all the way around and click OK. Again, it's just generating lots and lots of layers, which can be manipulated. What you can do, you select all the stars there. Just go all the way down, select every single one of them. Then go to the star tool. And then you can just change any of these settings. So number of points, five. We don't have to have that. Maybe go for 
six or eight. And then in a the radius, you can change that. So you can change it and create all kinds of designs. Maybe change it so it becomes the outer circles. So it's curved around the edges. You also modify the inner circle and create all kinds of different designs that way. Now, unfortunately, you've got all these points, so it's very hard to see, unless you just go to the move tool, just see that, and you can see the design then without all those extra lines in there. So you've got something like that. Well, what you can then do is you can select all these again. Now, you just select all the way at the top, all the way down to the bottom, hold the shift down, and all selected. With that, you can combine them, you can group them. So right click and group. The reason for that is I want to rasterize this design now. Now I could apply effects to all of them. I could apply layer effects to all of them. And here's the layer effects. But what I want to do is apply it to the whole. And I want to rasterize it. And you need to group that for that. So layer and just down here, rasterize. So it all rasterizes into a single design, pixel layer. And that pixel layer can be then manipulated. So you can go over here to effects, click there, go to 3D, and you can see then you get this lovely depth to it. And you can modify the settings, so radius, increase that, maybe soften. You can also change profile. And you might find one profile works nicer than another one. Or maybe go with the standard one there. And you can also modify soften again, tweak that, or maybe go for bevel emboss instead. Just try that out and change the direction, etc. And click OK. So you've got a design like that. Now, of course, you can actually use that as well. So you don't have to have just that. You could do the move tool again. So with the move tool selected, press return, and then you've got scale. So number of copies, you want a duplicate. You can just change the scale, and you can see then with that number of copies, increase it, and you can create all kinds of unusual designs that way as well. And also you can add rotation into it as well. Create something like that and click OK. But I don't want that. What I want to do is manipulate it slightly differently with the deform filter. Because I've got this design, nice colourful design, and it could be any number of colours. You can also, since it's layers, you can also combine it with blending modes. So all those layers could be used with, say, darken or lighten or screen. And that it's great for creating all kinds of effects as well. So with this design, I can go make something the move tool selected because deform works best with that. So filters, distort and deform. And now I'm just gonna add some pins. Now what I wanna do is drag these out. But to do that, you need to stabilize it. So just so it doesn't all sort of come out. So what I like to do is just add pins here so I'm just going to add them very quickly. You add them all around. So anyone, this bit here, the duplication of that, I'm just adding that. So I can click there, click there, all the way around. It doesn't take long. Just Obviously, if you've got one that's got 100, it's going to take longer. But you can just add these all the way around. And then, because I want to drag this, so I can click there, click there, click there. Now, unfortunately, there's no automatic feature. I would love to see an automatic feature that he could work it out. An AI technology should be able to work out that yes, I want to do it everywhere else. So it would work it out. But instead, manually, just do it manually. Then what you can do is you can drag this out. So you can just distort it. You can obviously drag it out so it breaks it away. You don't have to, of course, you can just drag it like that. Now it will slightly shift there. It's not going to be perfect, but you can see it at least restrains it to a certain point. And again, you can just drag this out and it, you know, it sometimes moves back and forth as it works it out. And you can see you can drag that out. So you can create a lot more sort of unusual shapes and designs. Again, it's not perfect because there's no sort of fixing it completely. And you can see then you get a far more organic sort of unusual sort of alien-like design very quickly in Affinity. And you can see there, just drag that. And finally, it's just go for this one. And you can do it, of course, again. Now, you can see I've made a bit of a mistake there. It hasn't controlled it very much. And click Apply. And there you've got that. Now, you can apply it again, of course. You can always just resize. Let's just resize it. 
and filters repeat deform. And I quite like doing that. Apply it a couple of times, and then you can see sometimes it comes out really weird abstract design using this approach. Now, sometimes you might find it cuts off. So filter, repeat, deform, and you can see you get that. So that is going to be my end point. But of course, you could, if you want, I'm just going to resize it. You could use that as well. Great start point. Press J again, makes it the move tool selected. And you've got that. And you can then go here, duplicate, number of copies, six, and maybe rotation. So you can see you can create some very abstract and very weird, maybe scaling as well. Create sort of like a unusual, I don't know, very strange design like that. Click OK. And that's a way of just taking a very basic shape, like a star, and it could be anything. It could be circular designs, it could be square designs. It could be ones you've just made up very simply using the pen tool. So you just go over here, pen tool, create a shape. And again, you can fill that shape with, do it right. So it closes it. Let's just close it. Yeah. And then fill that with a gradient and so on. And then use masks again with that. And, you know, you can develop and create all kinds of unique shapes like this very quickly in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.